This is Hodor Bino from DevilsDigest.com. We're over here with Cody Cole after Wednesday's practice. And uh, Cody, we're a week and a half before the season opener. Uh, is the feeling just a little different now than it was maybe just a few days ago as you get closer to that uh, September 5th date? Um, I mean, every single day I think our team brings it, but there's definitely a tension in the room. Like, everyone's not, everyone's excited, I think, and everyone's just ready to play. It's hard to wait for such a big game. Everyone just wants to go and get it done and just beat them, you know? So I think that's all that is. I know that uh, earlier in camp, uh, both Mike Norvell and Chip Long uh, said that you were, you were having uh, some of the best full camps um, out there uh, compared to other players. Um, what do you think contributed to your success uh, for the last uh, few weeks and your development, even from last year? What do I think of it? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's come a long way. I mean, uh, I don't know how to explain it. I just, it just all of a sudden came to me. And uh, whatever I can do for the team, I'm going to do. That's, uh, that's plain and simple. <laughs> I mean, you, you were one of the Iron Devils, uh, the Dirty Dozen. Uh, would it be fair to say that when you perform well in full camp, most of the time really starts by having a really good summer workout? Would that be fair to say? Oh, definitely. I mean, everything's in the summer. You work on your routes then, you work on cutting, you work on your uh, your technique and uh, blocking your feet. You get stronger, you get faster. So I think it's everything. I mean, that's your that's your workup to have the best season possible. I mean, even in spring ball, though, it starts in spring ball, you got to perfect and you got to start where you be ended for the season before that, so then you just progress and progress, and then you don't fall back. So I think that's where it comes from. Was it uh, really much of a process uh, getting in the chemistry with Mike Berkovici, obviously a different starting quarterback this year? Uh, kind of, kind of not. I mean, like, me and him were pretty good friends in the first place. Uh, I knew him before I even got here, kind of. Like, I met him on my visit and stuff. And so we always had a good relationship, but uh, it wasn't really too hard. I mean, he knew what I could do, and I knew what he can do, so we just kept talking, and now we're just working through it together. When I, when I look at that uh, U of A game, I know it was a disappointing ending, but it was kind of interesting that uh, when Mike Ritchie came in and everybody in the building knew that he's throwing the ball, he threw two touchdowns, two, two, two of them in the tight ends. Does that kind of get me a little excited, a little preview of what's uh, to happen in 2015? Oh, I, I think it should be. I mean, uh, he does like the tight ends. I mean, uh, we're bigger targets, and... Uh, you know, we have shorter routes, so that's just easy throws right there. But he's just a great quarterback. He's smart, and he knows when he doesn't have a long option, go short, you know. And he's a, I think he's a great quarterback, and he's going to do what he can his best. I know it's kind of weird um, full camp for the tight ends. There have been so many injuries. It looks like you were pretty much carrying the mantle over there for, for many weeks. Was this fall camp different just because of, like, there's so many injuries uh, to your teammates around you? Uh, honestly, every single – Every single fall camp I've been a uh, part of, there's always ended up two or three tight ends. Everyone's gotten hurt, and uh, it's rough, but that's just the way it is. I mean, it's a position where you're hitting constantly all the time, and it's full go. Uh, Coach Long doesn't let you, you know, hold up or anything. You're going every play, and so you get beat up, and for some people, they end up getting injured because it's just unlucky. But, yeah, it happens every fall camp, so it's pretty normal. And I know that uh, employing two tight end sets is something that the, uh, the coaches really want to do more and more this year. I guess uh, for you being a tight end, that's a pretty exciting proposition. Oh, yeah, I love it. I mean, I, uh, we have a thing in our room uh, for the tight ends called the Bowls, and that's just basically being a, a tough guy that hits hard, you know. And so uh, to have more than one tight end out there just proves our point. And plus, Epps is a great player. I mean, he's coming along a long way, and he's going to help our team a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm starting to watch, um, you know, game film on Texas A&M. What's some of the stuff and specifically that is a tight end that you need to go to and be aware of when it comes to their defense? Uh, you just got to be aware that they're physical and they're fast. I mean, that's all it is. I mean, I'm physical and fast too. I just got to be a step ahead of them. So that's all it really is. And, um, you know, with uh, with the recent, uh, you know, coaching chain, Bo, Bo Graham resigned and Coach Long, you know, taking uh, with the running backs, uh, looks like your uh, sessions are a little crowded than they were just a few days ago. Um, again, much of a transition or just uh, something you got used to pretty fast? Uh, it's a little bit of a transition, not having Coach Long looking over his shoulder the whole entire time, I mean, and correcting everything we do. So I'm trying to step up because I've been here for four years now. And so I'm trying to help as much as I can because Coach Martin's new to our position too. So it's just, you know, it's a learning process for all of us, but me teaching helps me learn it better. And uh, any way I can help is just, I mean, I love the tight ends, so I'm going to do what I can for them. And last question, I know uh, all of you have the team goals, uh, you know, 15-0 national champions playing over here in your backyard in Glendale on January 11th. But as far as personal goals, what are some of the personal goals you set forth in 2015? Uh, I want to be the best tight end in the nation. Uh, that's my goal. I mean, I know I can reach it. I just got to come out and perform every single day and practice like I'm playing a game. So. Cody, thank you very much. And for Cody Cole, this is Hodor Bino reporting for Devil's Digest.